bacteria is an acute infectious disease caused by gram plus V, non-motile bacteria, Conibacterium diphtheriae. It is also called strangling angel of the child. Klebs was the first to identify a bacterium that causes diphtheria, which was called Klebs Lofler bacterium. It has no invasive power but produces powerful exotoxin. Highly endemic in temperate climate. In the world highest cases of diphtheria reported in India. In India 2016 to 3380 cases, 2017 to 5293 cases, 2018 to 8788 cases were reported. The causative agent, C. diphtheria is a gram-positive, non-motile organism. It has no invasive power, but produces a powerful exotoxin. Infective material, nasopharyngeal secretions, discharges from skin lesions, contaminated fomites and possibly infected dust, host factors, age, usually 1 to 5 years sex, common in both sex, environmental factors, cases of diphtheria occur in all seasons, although winter months favor its spread. Mode of transmission. The disease is spread mainly by droplet infection. It can also be transmitted directly to susceptible persons from infected cutaneous lesions. Transmission by objects, for example, cups, thermometers, toys, pencils. Diphtheria organisms usually remain in the superficial layers of skin lesions or respiratory mucosa, inducing local inflammatory reaction. The organism's major virulence lies in its ability to produce the potent 62KD polypeptide exotoxin, which inhibits protein synthesis and causes local tissue necrosis. Types of diphtheria Nasal tonsillar pharyngeal laryngeal cutaneous oral vulvovaginal conjunctival mixed varieties The onset of the disease is acute with fever, 102F, malaise, headache anorexia, delirium, drowsiness and toxic appearance. For seal or pharyngotonsillar diphtheria, most common type. Sore throat difficulty in swallowing muffled voice low grade fever prostration tachycardia. Laryngeal diphtheria less common, most serious type. Laryngeal diphtheria less common, most serious type. Hoarseness of voice, aphonia, croup, bracy or barking cough, restlessness, prostration, dyspnea. Chest retraction, cyanosis, cervical lymphadenopathy, edema of neck, bull neck, nasal diphtheria, uncommon, mildest form. Localized to the septum, or, turbinate of the nose. Produces serosanguineous discharge. Laboratory investigations, diagnostic tests used to confirm infection combine isolation of C. diphtheriae on cultures with toxigenicity testing. ELEC test. Management. Medical management. Initial clinical management of all probable cases. 1. Place patient immediately in isolation room or area and apply standard droplet and contact precautions when caring for the patient. 2. Administer diphtheria antitoxin, DAT as soon as possible. 3. Administer antibiotics, penicillin, erythromycin or azithromycin as soon as possible. 4. Monitor closely and provide supportive therapy for severe complications, i.e. airway management, cardiac, neurologic and renal failure. 5. Vaccinate with an age-appropriate diphtheria toxoid-containing vaccine. Look for presence danger signs, impending airway or circulatory failure. Any sign of respiratory distress such as inspiratory strider, fast breathing, chest in drawing, accessory muscle use, or restlessness are warning signs of impending airway obstruction and the need to secure the airway. The presence of lethargy, cyanosis or SPO 290% is ominous in child with upper airway obstruction, implies overt airway obstruction, and emergent need to secure airway. Complications Within 1 to 12 weeks, after the initial pharyngeal phase, some patients may develop myocarditis, congestive heart failure, conduction abnormalities, and arrhythmias, debilitating neurologic dysfunction, neuropathy of cranial and peripheral nerves, and or motor weakness slash paralysis, or renal failure. Antitoxin therapy, DAT. Administer as soon as possible.
that should be administered immediately to probable cases with respiratory diphtheria, sore throat, low-grade fever and presence of adherent membrane on tonsils, pharynx or nose, based on clinical diagnosis. Do not wait for laboratory diagnosis. Pregnant women should not receive that. WHO recommendation for dose of DAT. For nasal diphtheria 10,000 to 20,000 units laryngeal, pharyngeal diphtheria 20,000 to 40,000 units tonsillar diphtheria 15,000 to 25,000 units combined types 40,000 to 60,000 units severe 80,000 to 1 lakh units not recommended for carriers. Antibiotics, penicillin, aqueous procaine penicillin, 3 lakhs to 6 lakh units, im daily for 14 days. Erythromycin, 40 mg slash kg slash day in 4 div doses for 14 days. Other antibiotics that can be used, amoxicillin, rifampicin, clindamycin. Carrier, PPF, 600,000U for 4 days, then oral penicillin, 200,000 units kit, for 4 days, then erythromycin 40 mg slash kg slash day for 1 week. Other supportive treatments 1. If the patient has fever, greater than 38 degrees Celsius, or pain that appears to be causing distress, give paracetamol. 2. Encourage the child to eat and drink. If the child has difficulty in swallowing, nasogastric feeding may be required. The nasogastric tube should be placed with extreme caution by an experienced clinician or, if available, an anesthetist. 3. Avoid frequent examinations and invasive procedures when possible or disturbing the child unnecessarily. Management of laryngeal obstruction. Intubation or tracheostomy. For the management of myocarditis. Bed rest, treatment of arrhythmias, anti failure line, diuretics, ACE inhibitors, digoxin with care. For the management of neuritis, no specific treatment, self limiting. May require guangay feeding if there is palatal palsy. Immunization after recovery is a must. Care of all close contacts. Identify close contacts of probable cases, irrespective of age. 1. Household members. All persons who sleep in the same house slash tent during the last five nights before onset of disease of the case, and any persons with close contact, less than one meter, for a prolonged time, over one hour, during the five days prior to onset of disease of the case, for example caretakers, relatives, or friends who regularly visit the home as well as medical staff exposed to oral or respiratory secretions of a case patient. 2. Collect contact information, names, age, mobile telephone number if possible and ways to follow up, telephone, visits. 3. Inform the contacts about the outbreak and the disease. 4. Assess diphtheria toxoid vaccination status of exposed close contacts. Vaccinate according to WHO strategy. 5. Administer antibiotics for prophylaxis. 6. Exclude from school or work until 48 hours of antibiotics have been completed. 7. Self-assess for signs and symptoms of diphtheria for at least 7 days. 8. If person develops any symptom of respiratory tract infection, then seek treatment at a health center immediately. Immunization. A. Combined or mixed vaccines, DPT, diphtheria pertussis tetanus vaccine, DTPW, diphtheria, tetanus, whole cell pertussis, DPA, diphtheria, tetanus, acellular pertussis, dash DT, diphtheria tetanus toxoid, DT, diphtheria tetanus, adult type, pentavalent, diphtheria, tetanus, pertussis, hepatitis pandhib. B. Single vaccines, FT, formal toxoid, APT, alum precipitated toxoid, PTAP, purified toxoid aluminium phosphate, PAPA, purified toxoid aluminium hydroxide, TAV, toxoid antitoxin flocculus, C. Antiserar, diphtheria antitoxin. Ministry of Health and Family Welfare has also recommended the replacement of TT vaccine with TD vaccine in India's immunization program for all age groups, including pregnant women. Tetanus and adult diphtheria, TD, vaccine is a combination of tetanus and diphtheria with lower concentration of diphtheria antigen, D as recommended for older children and adults. Nursing diagnosis body temperature imbalance, 
hypothermia related to the release of an exotoxin, imbalanced nutrition, less than body requirements related to pain swallow, impaired gas exchange related to pseudomembranous anxiety related to lack of parental knowledge about the child's illness.